Do you agree with the definition of evangelical as it's described by Lloyd Jones in the short book, What is an Evangelical? Yeah, well, I mean, yes, probably. I'll put it that way. Um, I, I read that book years ago, and I really liked it at the time. And if I read it again now, I think I probably would really like it uh, again. Um, uh, my memory of it is hazy. But yes, I, I agree. Um, I would agree with this definition of an evangelical with one, um, one uh, caveat. And that is, the, the word evangelical refers to the gospel. Right, uh, euangelio is just to preach the good news, to preach the gospel. An evangelist is someone who preaches the gospel. An evangelical is someone who holds to the historic gospel. Um, uh, the early reformers were called evangelicals. In the American context, evangelical has come to mean uh, someone conservative, Bible believer, uh, someone who insists on the ne absolute necessity of the new birth. And I'm in complete ac accord with all of that. So I, I agree that that's what an evangelical is, and that the word evangelical refers to certain important things about the gospel that we must preserve in our teaching. The danger, and this is a, a danger that many conservative evangelicals have fallen into, is there are many fine Christians, uh, uh, Orthodox Christians, Bible-believing Christians, faithful in their walk to God, who aren't evangelicals. Uh, so the fact that the evangelical distinctions D distinctives, excuse me, the fact that the evangelical distinctives revolve around the gospel, and I think are very important contributions that evangelicals have made to the church Catholic. I, uh, so I'm an evangelical, I believe in these things, I hold to them, I teach them, and I think they're very important. But I don't think it's necessary to be an evangelical to be saved. In fact, to insist on that would be to become sectarian and not evangelical. Great, let me move on to the second part of the question. Using Murray's evangelicalism divided as a backdrop, with whom do your sympathies lie in the J.I. Packer slash John Stott versus Lloyd Jones dispute over what constitutes an evangelical? Um, again, that was a fine book. I enjoyed it very much. My sympathies were with um, my sympathies were with uh, Lloyd Jones, um, who was warning, cautioning, guarding against. Uh, the dilution of historic evangelicalism with various forms of liberalism. Now, uh, and this is the problematic part. In that particular discussion, uh, Lloyd Jones had uh, discussions early in the day with Billy Graham and others about uh, cooperation with liberals. I'm very much of um, of the same mind with J. Gresson Machen in his great book Christianity and Liberalism that says that Christianity and liberalism are two different religions. They're two different world and life views. But evangelicals can get on a roll and say, you know, when they're fighting the liberals, they're, they're saying this is an alien faith, and that is exactly right. But sometimes when they get on this roll, they start saying the same things about Lutherans or Anglicans or, or Presbyterians or, you know, people who, who do believe that the Bible is the infallible word of God and who do believe in the historic gospel is laid out in the Apostles' Creed and, and are faithful Christians, faithful Orthodox Christians, but they don't, they don't mouth the, the evangelical shibboleths the, um, the way we've been taught to do, and so we're, sus we're suspicious of everybody. So I want to make a distinction between those who are not as wary about the encroachments of liberalism as they ought to have been, um, and that's where my sympathies are with Lloyd-Jones. but. In the Lloyd-Jones wing of evangelicalism, there is also a sectarian temptation that is not just suspicious of liberals, but um, suspicious of anybody who, is, who doesn't dot their I's or cross their T's in just the same way that our, our particular cultural form of evangelicalism does.